And we go now to the state of the race for governor of Michigan as James Craig announces his plan to get your vote in November. Craig says he's now pursuing a write-in candidacy for governor of Michigan. The former Detroit police chief fought to get his name on the ballot following a controversy over fraudulent signatures, but he and three other GOP candidates lost their battles. And this all comes as another Republican candidate, Ryan Kelly, is free on bond. He was arrested yesterday and charged in connection with the Capitol riot. Kiara Hay joins us live now with how that chaos may impact Michigan voters. Kiara. Well, yeah, a lot has happened in the past few days, but many of the disqualified candidates say they're not going down without a fight. Former Detroit Police Chief James Craig was disqualified from the governor's race last month following discrepancies with voter signatures. But the former front runner for the Michigan GOP primary election says don't write him out. Instead, he's continuing with a write in campaign. And so I recognize this is a a very difficult path to go down, uh, but I'm willing to do it uh, because I am a fighter. Craig was one of the five booted off the ballot last month. Perry Johnson, the other front runner, was also denied, and he's filed a federal lawsuit demanding the printing of the ballots stop. Today, Donna Brandenburg says her campaign will also be filing a federal lawsuit. But the decision to fight isn't popular with everyone. You know, and I know this is hard for some people to hear, but boo-hoo. You lost. Michael Markey Jr. says although he doesn't believe himself or the other candidates disqualified were given due process, it's time to move on. Right now, there are five Republican candidates on the ballot. But yesterday, one of them, Ryan Kelly, was arrested at his home in Allendale, Michigan, for his suspected involvement in the January 6th insurrection. Some remaining governor hopefuls questioning the timing, like Tudor Dixon, who tweeted, are we expected to believe the corrupt FBI happened to schedule a raid the same day of the January 6th production in D.C.? I don't know. Who ordered that? Ralph Brabant no, says the recent so upheaval of the Republican candidates is suspicious, but he says the clearing of candidates is helping voters focus in on who is left. I think all the discord and chaos around the name nomination leaves people with a bad taste in their mouth. Jonathan Hansen, a lecturer at the Ford School of Public Policy at U of M, says the tumultuous process could be casting doubt into people who already were distrusting of the U.S. elections and could result in fewer people showing up at the polls. Hansen went on to say that nothing in American politics is normal right now, so it could very likely still be anyone's race. We'll just have to wait and see. Live in Southfield, Kiara Hay, 7 Action News. And just a completely different race than it was just a month ago. Kiara, thank you. Glenda. All right, Brian.